Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 61 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we've already eclipsed that point where we ended the traditional Binding of Isaac Let's Play, which ended at 60 episodes. Right now, we're on episode 61. We got 300 items found and 144 secrets. That's not bad at all. Still got a long ways to go, though. So, let's get to it. So, we might as well have ourselves a blue baby run. Now, it's going to be a dark room run because he hasn't defeated Satan yet. So, here's our seed. 2YQJ3ZNB. Alright. Remember, we're playing as blue babies, so soul hearts are pretty much going to be our only source of health, unless you're counting evil hearts. And we're not going to get any red hearts for the rest of the game. Oh, those could be pretty good. Now, if you can just give me, like, a second bomb, that would be great. Because that'll probably give me two-thirds of my health right there, in that one room. And, you know, maybe those pots will have the quarter in them, so that'll give me a lot of money as well. I do want to go to our item room first, though. Because we could get something really good by itself there. Oh, that just gave me more spiders prolonging this room. That sucks! Why you do this, game? Why you give me red hearts? I don't need them. I can't take them. Oh, a little haunt. Okay, this could be interesting. I never... I don't think I've had this familiar before. Hmm. I feel like that tinted rock could also be value, very valuable. But let's wait it out first. If I can get more bombs, that'll be awesome. Also, little haunt, you know, you can go after these enemies. You have my permission. You can do it. Which is slang for do it. Not for, not slang for maybe do it, but come on, thank you. Seems like he'll only go after enemies when they're super close. I kind of wish he would have a little bit more freedom. But right now he doesn't. Okay, I was kind of hoping we would fight the regular haunt. Because, you know, haunt versus haunt. Okay, so apparently whenever he does touch enemies, he gives them the fear effect. That's pretty neat. That can come in handy. Apparently he wrecks Pin because he's got to go past him anyway. Movement gets a little bit more unpredictable, though. So you got to worry about that. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so do we take that tinted rock to get that gear and get the potential for a soul heart and other things? Or do we just go for, well, regular soul hearts right there? I think we go for this. Oh, okay. So now I didn't get any soul hearts as a result of that. Though I could have gotten one right there. And I didn't even drop a single bomb the entire floor. I mean, that's just petty. Tom Petty, that is. Except not really. So, down to the next floor. I mean, we're not doing too bad. I just wish I had a little bit more going my way. Which, we didn't. And we got Curse of Darkness. I mean, worst case scenario, we don't get any bombs or keys for, like, until caves and beyond. So, Abel is really gonna have to, like, pull his weight around this part of the room. Especially since it's so big and they're all spread out. Why do you have to make me do all this? Ah, matchstick. I kind of could have used that sooner. Also, this was a dead end. That sucks. Real bad. But if you can increase my chance for bombs dropping, that'll be great. Alright, so... Kind of behind the eight ball in terms of consumables in a big way. We don't even have that much money either. And we're running into very few rooms with enemies. That doesn't really help my chances for getting bombs by way of the matchstick. Because you kind of need enemy drops. Okay, this champion gave me something real good. Oh, that spider got out of nowhere. Nope, dropped something I can't use at all. I think it was this guy that created the spider. Every time you take damage, it's way too precious now. 
Because I did not get that soul heart from the seller one. So we're pretty much behind the eight ball in many ways. Okay, so we're not going to get items at all. Is that how it's going to go? We didn't get a single key or a single bomb except for that tinted rock over there that gave me able of all things. It's only good if you got BFF already. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Now you can just give me the box for all I care. I'm lowering my standards at this point. Why is little haunt going after the other haunts? That doesn't help me. You're still going after the big one. The big one can't be targeted yet. Stop going for that one, jeez. Watch out, as soon as he goes up, he's gonna go, go away. Oh, damn it. That's bad. Okay, he doesn't really do a lot of damage, little haunt doesn't. So I kind of got that working against me. But at least it's continuous damage. Oh my god, I get hit by every single one of these shots when he does that lately. Because they're not spread out so much as I would like. We still gotta deal with a double, even though we don't deserve one. We get Cat on Nine Tails of all things. Well, I got bombs. It's too bad they explode on their own. That was a very shitty haul, if you ask me. <laughs> Down to the next floor. We're gonna miss out on the item room and the shop. That's really gonna be a bad. Th oh my God! Curse of the Lost. Oh, it just goes from bad to worse. Please let this pill be useful. Luck down? My luck is already shit! And paralysis, great. When it rains, it pours. Kane's eye? Oh, well, that's not useful for me. Oh, lucky damage there. Well, Keto Nine Tails at least was a decent item. What did I pick up before then? Oh yeah, it was uh, Mom's Heels. Hey, oh, was that thing still alive? Okay, at least little haunt will work well with me when trying to take out these hosts. Oh, there's a bomb I could have used a while ago. A little too late, don't you think? Gotta, you know, showed up sooner. That had nothing. This could be my worst blue baby run in some time. I usually have some good ones. I mean, you've seen my other blue baby runs. They were actually quite good. But at least for now, we got a key and a bomb. A floor too late, of course. Here, I'm gonna let Abel do this. Ah, screw it. I'll do it myself. I'm watching how I still take damage. Never mind. Oh, that was nice. I think I should go for that Soul Harbor over there because I'm really low. <laughs> like, I'm dipping real low, real dangerous here. What's this pill? I haven't got this one yet, did I? I can see forever, okay. That was actually good. Alright. This will actually help us a little bit. Especially if we might need to escape early. And again, we have to wait till this gets blown away. Two keys, I like that. Now, are any... Is the secret room adjacent to any special room? Oh my god, I hate when that happens. Getting hit by those enemies. Okay, well there's our boss room. And that was just a dead end that led nowhere. And then we got this room. Alright. Well, the shot may not be worthwhile, but at least our item room should be. Oh, now we're getting a surplus of keys. Could have used that a bit sooner, though. Really could have. Huh, that's a rare time the poop was actually useful. Oh, hate the bony so much. I'm literally fucked at this point. I don't like my chances. Like, I take way too many hits from the simplest things. Like, I pay too much attention to what I'm trying to dodge. And when you're looking directly at the shot, 
you're fixated on to the point you're going to it. Yum Heart is trash as Blue Baby. I'm insulted you would have that in the rotation. I literally am. How dare you, game, to do this to me? Give me something that's completely worthless for the character I'm playing as. These pills are very good. Puberty. Kind of look like Julio now. Oh, now I have less keys. Lemon party and. Are you a wizard? Oh my god! Why don't I just fuck right off forever? Jesus, this is garbage. I don't know how you can perpetually have bad luck at a continuous rate than I am. Why don't you just kill me, game? Put me out of my misery. Huh. Yeah, let's go to our boss right now. Should've waited for that to wear off, but... You know, at the end of the day, I don't really want to wait too long. At least Little Haunt will get some licks in. I'm worried about when it leaps in fear mode. Like, where it's gonna land. Come on, you can kick in now. Don't be shy. Is that all he's gonna do now? Just keep hopping? Never mind. He's gonna do more. Alright, so far so good. We haven't taken a hit from him yet. It's too bad we're only at three soul hearts because usually deals with the devil require three of them. If we had like blank card, credit card, and stuff, then we can take advantage of those deals with the devil for free. Oh yeah, range upgrade. That's actually what I needed. Thank you. I'm not gonna bother to go to our shop. Now with nine cents. So let's head on down to the next floor. Which actually didn't have a curse. Nope, not gonna bother. Oh, there we go. That enemy is now deceased. Should really take care of that silkworm champion. Thank you. Didn't drop anything for me though. Oh god. I don't like this room. I'm gonna die, aren't I? And I'm dead. Oh, that's so bad. Let's do another run. Okay, this seed. H X K H G R V Y. <laughs> Hacks Kingdom Hearts Gravy. Yeah. That run ended pretty short, so I felt justified to do another run in this episode. And you know, the race to the scissors is on. Which, by the way, if you don't know about the scissors, it's an item you get if you die a hundred times. Dead Onion? Okay, so I guess my tears are a little bit piercing. But they have very short range. And I don't know if my damage is any better. Ugh, I don't know how I feel about this. But it could be good. I mean, if it can pierce through those spiders and just keep going for its next target, that's nice enough. Oh, so I managed to get a key, so I'm already well ahead of the curve as I was before. And we gotta fight the Haunt again anyway. So it didn't really matter at all. It'd be nice to kill both of these at once, huh? Oh, well, that means I gotta get closer to this guy. At least I can go through the pots. So I'll have that going for me. It's still gonna be a slow drawn up. Ah! Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, that was close. Kind of playing chicken with this guy, though. I should stop doing that so much. I gotta play a bit safer. Oh, that was close. Oh, well. That was some damage I wish I didn't take, but I'll get it back and then some. I guess I go down to the next floor. So, this is going to be one of those rare videos where I have two runs in a video. So, I'm kind of not pleased with that, but it happens. Usually, what I, that happens if I die early. Then I'll just do another one in the same video rather than just end the video right there. 
have it super short, and then you guys wonder, like, what the fuck, man? We waited for this video, and you give us that? Huh, nice of them to just kill themselves to make my life a little bit easier. Still a pain in the ass, though. So this item better be good, and it's... Uh, not leaf. So what's this about, like, a uh, plant life showing up a little more frequently? We got dead onion, and now we're getting the, um... Nod leaf. It would have been good if I had demon baby or something, but I don't have anything that attacks with a mind of its own. So I have to move to attack, which of course makes Nod leaf useless. Oh well, I guess we'll find a way to make it work somehow. Because we got no other options. I think our secret room could be around to the southwest. A bit too soon to, like, uh, seal that case right there, though. But, it's a pretty good consensus. Remember, our goal as Blue Baby is to get to the dark room and get, like, two victories here, one against Satan and one against the Lamb. Then Blue Baby should be set. I have a pretty good hunch that our secret room is around, say, here. But let me double check with the other room. Okay, there's still a good chance it's right here. Good. Good, good, good. And it gave me two bombs, so that's a nice return on our investment. We'll place it right here so we can save a key. And... None of these are that awesome. So... Here, there's a little pity donation. Okay, let's take on our boss. Which, not surprising at all, is Monstro. Haunted and Monstro tend to show up quite often. Like, usually Basement Part 2 has Monstro, and Cellar Part 1 tends to have the Haunt. It's, it's a very common consensus, and both of them have kicked in at this one run. We had to fight the haunt twice. On the previous run, and now this one. Okay, we're not really doing a lot of damage. It's too bad you didn't do, like, continuous damage. Like, have one tier do, like, two hits worth. But that's not the case. We only hit him once. So I need a little bit more to help me. And there we go, monster's dead. Come on, hook me up with something great. Preferably not Krampus. Guppy's tail, uh, As much as I like to be Guppy, it's not really worth that high price tag. And plus, I'm very low on keys. Oh yeah, that room on the left is the double key room, that's right. I was wondering, why is that there? Did I not go to the library and I realized, oh, that's a double key room, never mind. Yeah. I normally would have taken Guppy's tail if it showed up in a red chest, or like in a curse room on a pedestal, but, you know, to give up that much, that early in the game, probably not a good idea, and my key quota was very low. It was not worth taking a risk. Oh shit, that fly just centered directly at me, with no cease whatsoever. Can I hit these guys at all? They're just spawning the flies. Cause they're just getting away with this shit. I don't like that. Oh fuck. Man. Can't catch a break. Is it, do I see a Triforce over there next to that right host? I do. I guess that's supposed to be like symbol god, like, you know, 42, that kind of stuff. The Holy Trinity. Up, oh, get away from that. I'm not setting myself to be exploded -ed. I will not allow that to happen. Well, at least Dead Onion is good against these groups of enemies. Uh-oh. Did I put myself in the fuck zone? Nah, not necessarily. It all depends on when this guy dies. Which, thankfully, was pretty soon. Telepills! Does this help me? Kinda. 
Would have liked to get that evil heart though. Luckily, I can shoot behind these blocks to destroy the uh, evil fires. Oh, fuck! Man, I put myself in the worst spots. And I'm not really getting a lot of soul hearts from the combined two runs, really. I mean, look at that. We're playing through, like, our second run in this one episode. And we're still getting very few soul hearts helping us out to keep us alive. Plus, I'm losing so many by way of my lack of skill so far. Oh, uh, non savage could be real good with the poops and no one ever. So let's just get out of here. Hopefully, we can find a spacebar item that's worthy of the nun's habit. Because basically anything else could be. I'm too afraid to be close to that dark champion because it might blow up. Usually, champions of that color tend to do so. Like that, see? Thank you for giving me that bomb I can't reach. Oh, this could be good. Oh, yes. My shots already move incredibly slow, but now they are just a destructive force. I have to give up like a lot of rate of fire though, but I think it's a price worth paying. Ah, use bird foot. It's only good because I don't really have anything else. It really destroys these spiders in one hit. We'll still need a little bit more to help us out, though. Because right now, only just Polyphemus, well, as good as it is, needs to be supplemented with a little bit more. Oh, Counterfeit Penny is better than the Birdfoot. I was kind of hoping to find money, because I would like to get the Nun's Habit for, like, a better spacebar item. But if we don't find it, it's not the end of the world. I would like to, though. Oh, yeah, there was enough there, because the Telepill sent me away. I can get that nickel. So I will buy the nun's habit and hopefully find something better than the poop. Because I really don't want to be shitting more often every time I take damage. That's not really the point of taking the nun's habit in the first place. You take it so you have a better chance with the items you have. Not with an item that's pretty much a lost cause. Okay, this is the ch champion version of Gertie that does not shoot. You have to remember that, but it's the nubs that do. Still gotta be careful with flies that can be right behind its giant girth. And also, that nub can really go straight to hell for all I care. Oh, finally, it's dead. Just don't take dumb damage, that's all. Just don't take dumb damage. There you go. See, that wasn't so bad. Now we get extra speed and range. Now, maybe we should just go. I'm not gonna bother to explore. Let's just move on, head for the next floor, and take it from there. Oh, Curse of Darkness again? Show up in like the second straight run? Really, you're gonna do that to me? Okay, it takes three shots to kill these guys. That's cool. Now, I only got like, oh, one key, so I better find a good use for it. Probably not for the central chest, right over here. Oh, that's a real good haul to get like two soul hearts in this spot. Oh yeah, I forgot you can find the haunt in these. Forgot about that dash attack. I guess if you just use Nod Leaf and stuff, that would actually work really good against the Haunt. Because you can't take damage when you're, like, a statue. But I don't have ways to do damage through contact myself. There, finally get ourselves a bomb. Oh, there's our self-sacrifice room. Uh, hang on a second, I can probably just go to the options right here. Let's try 110. That should make this a little bit brighter. Because I found it a little bit too dark for myself. 
And I usually don't complain about my vision. I can, I can see very well in the dark. Like, sometimes when I go to the bathroom and they wonder, like, why I have the lights off, I was like, okay, I'm just taking a piss. It's not like I really need to aim or anything. Well, yeah, I do, because I'm a guy, but still. When you get, like, a little bit of light to go through the door crack, I can still see. Normally, I don't always, like, take a piss or a shit with the lights off. I usually need the lights on, but if they're off, like, in the event of a power outage, I can do it just fine without a candle or a flashlight. I wouldn't recommend it, though, but still. It's just a little personal quirk that is quite good, because my eyesight is really fine. I haven't had my eyes examined in probably years, but it's been to the point that I, it wasn't really that necessary. I haven't had any concerns about my vision. That being said, however, I do recommend that other people do so. You know, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> That's sending a good message, Bonga. Really sending a good one. Now, first things first. We need to find our item room to make sure that we get something really good that stacks with Polyphemus. Because by itself, as good as it is, it needs more. Especially since you fire so slow. Undefined? It's better than the poop. Then again, almost anything is better than the poop. Plus, we get that potential for an IM error room. Which could be very good for us. I would have laughed if we found, like, missing no in our secret rooms. Like, shades of one run I had before. Where I had both missing no and undefined. And had probably one of the weirdest runs in some time. The, in my modern memory. Not, like, overall. I'm sure they've been much weirder. Also, I have nuns habits, so I can utilize them more often, you know, in case I suck. That could have been a hit right there. Also, it's been a while since we had Polyphemus. Oh, there it is. A little more, finally. Ah, we got growth hormones, so we can move faster and do even more damage. I guess we can probably give the shop a chance. Hmm, nah. We can probably just move on. I feel like we can take some shortcuts. Maybe if I agree, it's okay. Remember, I got counterfeit pennies, so I'll get even more out of my money. Sure, let's do it. I needed bombs anyway. Okay, it still requires like more than one hit to kill these guys. But they're manageable. Like back then when I played like a uh, traditional Isaac, I found these guys a pain in the ass. Like those super leapers. Only not so much now. Because eventually all you have to do is just... When they leap as soon as you're standing, they're just going to leap on the position you're currently on. Even if you move like half an inch, you can still use that to your advantage. That being said, however, I still recommend you be a little bit more careful, but you have a little bit more wiggle room. Oh, God, Bob's brain. Oh, there's that greed of fight I was worrying about. Except not really. Oh, we're going to be rich. And our shop will have no problems. I would probably avoid using Undefined after the mom fight, or before the mom fight, because what if I get the I Mirror room and I have to skip out on the Polaroid or the negative? I really like to, you know, take them because I want to go to the dark room. Especially since Blue Baby hasn't got a lamb victory or a Satan victory yet. So we'll probably use Undefined probably after that fight. Oh yeah, I think we'll get a boss rush in. Maybe. Wait, this is only the fifth floor. I was thinking it was the sixth one. I don't know why I was... Oh! You almost tried to sneak one up on me, game. You almost had me. <laughs> Except you didn't. Because I knew better. And was, hey, if I'm getting smarter with Bob's brain, I'm definitely going to get smarter with the tick. Oh, there's that I am error room. Oh, jeez, there was a lot of soul hearts. 
Why is there lines around here? You can't leave. I think we missed out on our item room as a result. Oh well. We're still decently strong. And we got more health as a result. So if anything, that Ayamara room was a blessing in disguise. So I am happy with that. Oh yeah, we missed out on the shop as well. I guess... I guess it was not that much of a blessing as I thought. Because we could have had a little bit more potential, you know, like crack above 300 items. Ah, oh, paralysis. Oh well, get that out of the way now. Oh, that could have been scary. Oh, there was still creep there. I didn't even see it. Okay, this is our last item room, so we better get something real good. I would have been so sad if there was something really good in the last one, and we just don't know it. You know, unless you replay the seed. Which you can if you want to. I'm not going to hold it against you. Ooh. Infestation 2. I heard that whenever you kill enemies, they turn into blue spiders. Oh, well, that was bad. Okay, don't use undefined here. Remember, we would like to see what's beyond. Oh, man. Our next shop could have had something good, but this one had to have super greed. Now I feel real bad. Hopefully we get a chance to make some donations happen. Like, say, in our arcade. Oh, oh, I tried to get in the gap, but for some reason I kept slipping. I don't even know why I just... Oh, yeah, because I had Bob's brain. I was worried about shooting. Okay, range up. That's okay. Would have preferred a tears up, though. That did not hit? Really? Okay. Whatever, game. Have it your way. I'll probably use I'm Error as soon as... I mean... Use undefined after I defeat mom. Okay, I did go to both special rooms. That's right. Thank you for a procking there, Bob's brain, so I didn't have to wait. Longer than I would have wanted to, of course. Well, the good thing about Infestation 2 is that she's just going to keep creating enemies that I'm eventually going to turn into spiders. I don't know if it's the flies that turn into spiders, though. They might be the lone exception to that rule. There we go. We did get our boss rush. We'll take our negative. We'll fight Krampus, which was expected. I got an idea. We'll go in our boss rush. We'll take the item, whatever one we want. We won't be taking this. And then we'll use on Undefined to get out of there. So I'll snag an item for free. Let's do it. Now, what item do we want, though? Um, um, sure, we'll take the rosary. Goodbye. Ha! <laughs> Another I am error room! How often does it happen two floors in a row? Holy shit. Okay. That That's cool, I guess. Okay, I won't use it on the second womb or utero level, though. So I'm worried that I may have no choice in the matter and where I want to go. Oh, that was a champion there. I thought that was just a statue. That's right, the statues don't usually show up till Shoal. Okay, fair enough. Would have liked to get that gold key, though. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> okay. This is comical right now. You don't really expect that. I don't want to take the Bible. Yeah, we'll one-shot Mom's heart. But, but if you use it on Satan, we'll die. So we should stick with the uh, undefined. Okay. We're good. Let's go to our arcade. See what's waiting for us. Ah, it's a judgment. I'm good with judgment. We got lots of money, so we got nothing to worry about. Hey, thanks for the free health. Uh, maybe you can give me fly love as well? Or not? 
You know what? I don't want to play this blood bank. So that can go. And we'll just move on. Oh, that was a dead end. I I don't know why I stayed in that room. I was too fixated on destroying the uh, poop that I was realizing that even if I did, where would I even go? There was just nothing for me. That room didn't have anything for me either. Oh wait, that was the boss trap room. I was thinking that was the curse room. Okay, well we found our secret room by accident. Bob's brain was kind of screwing me over again. Oh right, that we still got shove. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, that's where a dead onion really wrecks, because you can hit all parts of Chubb. Oh yeah, that's real good. Okay, let's just move on to the right, because that's the only path we haven't taken yet. Oh, you, you ass. Don't use undefined on this floor. So, I guess I'll probably just save it for the dark room. Because I can't think of other places where it would be useful. Because can I use it on in Shoal? And then just go to the dark room automatically without defeating Satan? Or would that be impossible? I think it would be impossible, but I don't want to take that chance. I'd rather play it safe. Oh, this is crazy good, the amount of spiders we're making out of this. Oh my god, this is glorious. We, we got a major spider army heading our way. This is like arachnophobia on steroids. Oh my god. We've created some foul fiends here. If, now, if only we had Hive Mind, then this item would be even more incredible. I'm talking about Infestation 2, because we'd just be creating monsters beyond belief. All right, so we got Mom's Heart. Let's do this. Oh. Damn, that was bad. Don't really have that much health as I thought I would. I don't have a lot of range either. Like seriously, I'm taking way too many hits. And that's because you can't really get that much mileage on your attacks. So I'm gonna need a lot more soul hearts kicking in. That rosary got wasted real fast. Oh, but this helps. Black Lotus. So instead of giving me like a red heart, soul heart, and evil heart, it's just gonna be two soul hearts and an evil heart. Just fine by me! Oh man, we're really far on the map here. There's our self sacrifice room. And I walk into that like a fucking idiot. Good god, Bonga. Oh, pheromones, really? Okay, we can make this work. Oh yeah, I forgot there's one of those uh, absorbing things or monsters or statues trying to suck me in. I was wondering why I was going around this way. I really don't want to waste all my spiders on the fallen phase. Oh my god, this is powerful. Sick. Too bad we can't just create spiders constantly and, you know, just use Nod Leaf. Too bad that doesn't work, but I guess we'll have to find other modes of attack. Like that, for instance. Okay, that worked well. Man, we've only been this run for like 24 minutes. For some reason, I thought it'd be a little bit longer. Wait. Can I just, like, let the bomb leeches do the work on Satan? And just use not leap there? If 
But I feel like if we're doing good as is, we should probably just do it ourselves. Remember, each bomb leech we destroy will just be creating more spiders. Oh, I thought I was far enough. I wasn't. Okay, don't squander Black Lotus already. Okay, Satan's dead. So we get the Forget Me Now unlocked. I remember that item. It just resets your floor. It's kind of like the five in the dice room. Okay, this is where things get interesting or real terrible. Well, that saved us two hits right there. That didn't. I guess we'll go straight down. Nope, we'll probably get the worst outcome we could ask for, so let's just get the fuck out of here. What is this? There's a trap door here? Where the fuck are we gonna go then? Oh, Bob's right ahead, that's not gonna help me. Are we gonna go back to the dark room? Okay, we're gonna go back to the dark room. We're gonna reset our floor. Wait a minute, is this the exact same outcome? In a way, this is kind of good. Now I know I don't don't go down. Okay, we'll go left instead. And take damage for the first attack. Nice going there. That, that's still bullshit whenever that happens from Daddy Long Legs. Okay. We're actually faring a little bit better. Because those two soul hearts reset as well, and that was dumb hit on my part. Oh my god, did I really get hit by that again? I swear, it's harder than you think to pay attention to Monstro 2 when there's like two of them. But at least they got the exact same pattern going. To the point they're both shooting. Okay, now it's kind of mixed up. It should be a lot easier to telegraph now with only one of them. Oh! Fuck! I didn't think that was gonna get me from here. Mm, that wasn't really helpful at all. But we found our top secret room. Okay, Double Widow got destroyed by... The oh, uh, good thing I wasn't shooting there. One good thing for that. Oh, come on. All of these genies. Okay, at least they're taking decent amounts of damage. In a way, going to the wrong way was good. Because what, we only took one hit in that double adversary room, and then we warped out. Got God knows what. <laughs> Bob's right hand, like that's gonna help us. But we managed to, you know, like, get those two soul hearts that we collected before. Again! So here we go, we're taking on the Lamb as Blue Baby for the first time. We can only take four hits, though. So I'm kind of worried. However, we're creating spiders by, you know, killing these flies. So I think we're gonna do okay. He knocked that bomb away, unfortunately. I still hate those psychic shots with a passion. Especially when they don't hit the walls. So I guess I'll just back away. That way they curve later. Whoa, shit, that was close. Oops. Oh, okay. I'm two hits from death now. Okay, it's gonna do that dash a couple times. The body's dead, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. Okay, I feel confident in our abilities to win. Okay, now I'm kind of scared. Did we do it? We did it! That was way too close, and we got Blue Baby Soul. Oh, that was so close. But there, we got ourselves another item unlocked. That's a trinket, by the way. But let's see where... No, no, don't, don't go to challenges. Go to stats. We only collected one unique item. I think that was Infestation 2. 
146 secrets. Okay. Still got a very long ways to go. In fact, we probably gotta do at least two runs each of Lee, Eve and, well, one run of Lazarus before we can complete all these posted notes here. So, things are going well for the most part. And on the next episode, we'll probably play as Eve just to get some of her runs out of the way. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.